Hi guys, this is RM from A3QZ TV, and today we're looking at Scooby Doo Classic Creep Capers for the Game Boy Color. This part will be parts one, introduction. Three. This is chapter one. It's a mystery. That's the code that you want at the beginning of the game if you want to say continue. It won't save any of your actual statistics. Now here, pull the curtain away and take the towel. That comes in handy later in the game. Yeah, the clock is not turning, actually, it's just the uh, game. Okay, now we this part gets a little long because I screwed up here. I uh, didn't realize it. I was playing, like, well, let me say this. I've had this game most of my gaming career, and I just beat it a year ago. Well, not even a year ago, six months ago. So, bear with me here. Still, it's a, it's a tough game. It's really short. This part's hard because I didn't know what to do. Basically, you have to examine every symbol. And then it will go through the animation, tell you what the symbol says underneath it, and Velma learns the symbols. Okay, there's three books in this room. This one's an encyclopedia of cheese. Can't interact. I'm just going to interact with that. That's a book that probably would open a secret door, but we can't touch it because we're not strong enough. This book is about mad scientists, or poetry for scientists, and you can take it, and the back page is something about the symbols. This is a creepy skull that has no need whatsoever in the game, but it's a creepy skull. Now I'm going to switch to Shaggy and Scooby. I'm just going to narrate what I do. It's not necessarily right, but I, did, I wasn't sure how to go about this, so I skipped ahead a little bit here. I thought I could just activate my book to open the door, which I can't. Because now I have the book of the codes, right? I can open the door, can't I? No. Well, I'm going to look at the sirens here, which is what happens if you get the code wrong. The locked door, keypad, they're going to look at. They can't do anything to. So what are they going to do? They're going to walk back. This part is weird, and I did it on accident the first time I played the game. Which is kind of why I messed up here and forgot. Yeah, pause the game there for a second. Okay. Yeah, okay. Anyway, we're back. Not really, I never left. I just... Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm narrating this afterwards. Yeah, basically Shaggy and Scooby can't go in the door because of the boundaries. Yeah. And I wasn't sure why I thought I'd be able to do it by then, which I can't because I missed a crucial step in this game. This is getting tedious even for me narrating, so bear with me here. I guess I should narrate it as I played. Basically, now I understand the mission. You have to find all the symbols. There's only like five or ten, not ten, less, maybe seven, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you can look, I mean, you can look online for a cheat, or for a list. There, none of them are hidden, except for the first one. Or not the first one, whatever. There's only one hidden one. I'm just going to talk to Shaggy. Okay. There's only one symbol that's hidden. And then there's another thing you have to do, which I should have done at the beginning, showed you. I do it at the end instead. Okay, yeah. There, notice there's th actually three symbols in this room. Gets a little confusing. Yeah, but I talked to Fred here. Yeah, we're going to look at the symbol. Okay, yep. It's two symbols. Or three symbols, sorry. Three symbols. Okay, there's a picture here. It's a symbol. Okay, elk. Yep. Okay, try to open the door, which is a crucial door in the rest of the game. Doesn't do me much good here. Okay, yep. We're gonna get this symbol by the bathtub here where the towel used to hang. Thought that was a little clever of me. Just gonna hang here for a sec. Okay, yep. Now I'm gonna go get that symbol. No reason to hang, really, but I did. Just gonna grab that symbol. Bean. None of this is important to you, or even to the story. Okay, Velma, come on. Yeah, sometimes I'm the visual boy. I mean, I've had this problem with every emulator. This time, unlike my Aladdin videos, which I realized, you, so if you're watching this, you probably aren't familiar with it, because it was not good. But, yeah, I wasn't actually that good at the Aladdin game, and I was trying to do a video series, and I got to the point where I've never beaten, and I realized I couldn't do it, so... That's why I'm doing this game, because it's an RPG and takes no skill. 
well, it takes skill, but if you're watching this, either you'll enjoy the game, you were recommended to watch it, or you just needed help, because it gets really frustrating if you don't know what to do. I don't even know how I learned how to do it all. I know a lot of people with the game who've never beaten it, because it gets so challenging. Now, this is what you are supposed to do eventually, but now with Shaggy and Scooby, as I just realized. Yeah, because they aren't that intelligent, I guess. Um, yeah, but... Okay, now I'm going to go back to Velma, and finish up the rest of her mission. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of feedback from the uh, music to the game here. That's because I forgot to shut it off before. I started recording, so, yeah, just deal with it, okay? I mean, the game is awesome. I actually beat this first on my Game Boy Color, because it's the best place to play a Game Boy game is your Game Boy Color, right? And the, the game is just awesome. As laggy as it is, it's probably one of the most intelligent... Well, not intelligent. I don't, I don't know why they made this game. I guess Scooby-Doo, because they needed the brand, but I got this game when I was a little kid, and I haven't... I mean, I guess I got the game, I don't know, when, I, when it came out, and back then I didn't get it, I couldn't handle an RPG like this, so, okay, yeah, one thing though, if you've never played it, watching it, it sounds easy, and if you know what to do, the game's a breeze, if you don't, you'll be wandering in and out of halls, it's like those annoying dungeons in Zelda, when you just don't know where to go, don't know what to do. And you're just gonna ha hang there, do whatever. Okay, yep, I'm just gonna refer to that stool later as well. The game really does heat up later on. It sounds a little tedious now when you're just gathering stuff, but every game starts out with a hunting gathering session. Yep, this door is locked. I'm kind of freaking out at this point because I don't know what to do. Now I know what to do. I mean, afterwards I know what to do, but until I remember. Yep, look at the shoe. This is important to do as well. You have to. Act, not necessarily now, but you got to activate the throw the open well open the door, throw the towel down. Make sure you have all of the symbols. Make sure all the doors are locked as well. That's very important here. What was that? Okay, yep. I'm just gonna try being Fred, but he can't really do anything. In fact, Fred plays a very minor role in the entire rest of the game. So, if he's one of your favorite characters, uh, I'm sorry. Shaggy and Scooby probably play the biggest role in this game, which is pretty cool because they're the coolest characters, in my opinion. Especially Scooby, and he's pretty cool because talking dog. Oh, this game brings back a lot of memories of just wandering around through these halls, not even understanding the controls really. Okay, you got that symbol twice. Just gonna open the store here. This room is important, and you'll. I know when I started playing this game, I was like freaking out because okay, you can't take the rope, and there's a trap door, and you can't do anything with it. And it's kind of weird. So don't be tempted to just stand on the trap door and wait for time, because I know that worked once, but with the ghost, but doesn't happen again. On the side hint, there is there is a uh, Nintendo 64 version of this game. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, could be good. I don't know. It's in 3D and it has a couple more. Seen, looked a little bit about it. It's in 3D. It has a couple more missions. Well, it has, instead of just this ghost, the ghost with Dr. Jekyll, it's also the uh, Black Knight. And, uh,. There's one more, I think, and it's a little more action-filled, because it's not GBA. I know most good GBA games were action, but... Or, well, okay, that might be wrong. This is another thing you have to do before the end of the game. Well, not before the end of the game, before the end of this level. You gotta look at the Tesla coil that they're using to send out energy. I don't even know when this game was made, if they even had wireless energy. No, I don't know, it could be old-fashioned, could not be, yeah. I guess I should have looked at that. Yeah, I know it was Game Boy Color, and it was really fun, and I know how to beat it. But also that there weren't any video guides that 
Well, there I guess there were some video guides, but I didn't really reference any. Because they weren't very helpful or user-friendly. I'm splitting this up into a couple parts, but I'm also taking out big chunks of it so that you don't get bored watching it. I think there's like five chapters, maybe. Yep, okay, she, she knows how to use the keypad because she's intelligent. So Velma's going to open the keypad here. It opened, the door opened, opened, and Fred is going to check it out. So the door is now unlocked. Velma's going to walk away, glitching. Chapter 2, Boo's Clues. If you want to cheat and skip all that stuff, there's your code. And I'm just going to show you a little teaser to what's coming up next. Basically, Fred goes in and gets attacked by Shaggy with a mustache and glasses. They lock him up in this purple prison cell. And Shaggy and Scooby decided there's going to be more food in there than there in the mansion. I mean, not in the jail. Okay, and I'm just going to save my game here. Wrote state. I'm going to save again. I always like to double state, just in case. Okay, that's about it. This is RM from A3QZ TV coming at you with Scooby Doo Classic Creep Capers for the Nintendo Game Boy Color. Sorry about the screwed up audio and video at the beginning. Uh, the video was originally too long. So, yeah, I hope you'll stick with me. Coming up with Chapter 2 next time. See you later.